Climate change is affecting every country and every continent. It is disrupting national economies and affecting lives. Weather patterns are changing, sea levels are rising, and weather events are becoming more extreme. Hence, SDG 13 targets to strengthen resilience and adaptive capacity to climate-related hazards and natural disasters in all countries, integrate climate change measures into national policies, strategies, and planning, improve education, awareness raising, and human and institutional capacity on climate change mitigation, adaptation, impact reduction, and early warning and implement the commitment undertaken by developed country parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change to a goal of mobilizing jointly $100 billion annually by 2020 from all sources to address the needs of developing countries in the context of meaningful mitigation actions and transparency on implementation and fully operationalize the Green Climate Fund through its capitalization as soon as possible. Promote mechanisms for raising capacity for effective climate change-related planning and management in least developed countries and small island developing states include focusing on women, youth, and local and marginalized communities, acknowledging that the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change is the primary international intergovernmental forum for negotiating the global response to climate change. Do you happen to know why the Sustainable Development Goal is trying to take urgent action to combat climate change and its impact? Come with us and discover how it all started. Now that we all know how it all started, let's take a minute to look and see about the truth on what's happening around us.
human activities, from pollution to overpopulation, are driving up the Earth's temperature and fundamentally changing the United Nations the has warned us. the world is on a catastrophic pathway to a hotter planet, saying countries simply aren't doing enough to reduce emissions. Well, calls for authorities to declare a climate emergency mount as the Philippines... Well, Korea is still recovering from the aftermath. Much extreme weather conditions are stretching across the U.S. The old heat wave in the Siberian Arctic this year is unequivocal evidence of climate change and that the record high temperatures in Siberia would be impossible without man-made global warming. Concerns on the refusal of several world powers to recognize the findings of a landmark report. I worry about the future. What will life be like when I grow up? Global climate change, as we all know, has already had noticeable consequences on the ecosystem. Glaciers have shrunk, ice on rivers and lakes has melted up, plant and animal ranges have altered, and trees have begun to bloom earlier. Global climate change is having the effects the scientists projected it would have in the past. Sea ice lost, increased sea level rise, and longer, more extreme heat waves are all possibilities. According to the Global Climate Risk Index, the Philippines is among the top five countries that are most affected by climate change. A study by the Asian Development Bank has estimated that by 2100, the average cost of climate change to the country would equal losing 6% of its gross domestic product each year, which is more than twice the global average loss. Approximately in 2014, it is based on extensive scientific evidence that 97% of climate scientists said that it is extremely likely that human activities, especially emissions of greenhouse gases, are the dominant cause of the observed warning since the mid-20th century. There is no alternative explanation supported by convincing evidence. Now, what are the other sustainable development goals that are related with climate action? This includes SDG 15 and 14, which are life on land and life below water. Due to climate change, oceans are getting warmer to the point where marine animals can survive the heat. There are various species who cannot adapt to the burning temperature, leading them to their deaths. At most, it may cause the extinction to their population. In addition, the oceans are becoming more acidic. If the ocean's pH level continues to decrease, marine organisms like shells and shellfish will most likely perish. They become more fragile, making it easier for predators to eat them. This is mainly caused by the increase of carbon dioxide level in the air due to the environmental damaging activities done by humans such as burning fossil fuels. Strong storms also devastate the marine life as it disturbs the animals' existence and environment. Their habitats change due to the damage caused by the calamity. Sometimes it is beyond repair, directly affecting their survivability. On the other hand, life on land pertains to the alarming change caused by the negligence of humans living on Earth. We humans are the ones responsible for what is happening in our world right now. Because of how we persist on over-consuming everything, severe consequences are coming back to us. In particular, we experience harsh storms as an effect of climate change. In fact, according to the studies, the strength of storms when they hit land increased by 100% compared to the last 20 years. We also experience more natural disasters such as frequent landslides, more serious droughts, and very unpredictable rainfall patterns. This news is saddening, right? So, what are some of the ways which you can lessen the impact of climate change? Now, you might be wondering, can I make a change even if I am just one individual? Will there be a difference? The answer is yes, of course. Here are some of the ways which you can lessen the impact of climate change. 1. Use energy wisely. Turning off our appliances will not even save so much in fuel energy. Did you know that switching from a gas stove to an electric stove can also help in lowering indoor air pollution? Number 2. Eat more greens. Let's eat less meat and focus on eating more organic food supplies. Better yet, you can grow your own fruits and veggies from your own garden. Number 3. Green your commute. To lessen our carbon footprints, you might want to consider taking up public vehicles instead of taking self-riding private vehicles. 
better yet, you can use your own bicycle if your destination is just within the area. Number four, for the household, you might want to consider using solar appliances. Solar appliances save so much in energy and they can also lessen our carbon impact. N number five, be politically active and vote. The best way in which we can take immediate action on climate change is to vote competent leaders who know what they're doing. We need leaders who can lead our country to a more sustainable community. We need leaders who can make plans to shift to a clean energy community for this country. To extend our help for our mother nature, we encourage you to join organizations that help in fighting climate change. Here are some. Greenpeace Philippines is a part of a global environment organization spanning 40 countries. Some of their strategies include sharing public awareness such as having public debates and peaceful protests on climate justice. Their volunteers include activists, interns, cyber activists, and local youth members. Philippines Biodiversity Conservation Foundation The protection of the country's wildlife is the main advocacy of this organization. So far, they have zoomed in different islands in the country, both in rural and urban areas. Worldwide Fund for Nature, Philippines It is the world's largest conservation organization that operates in over 100 countries, including the Philippines. Their specific mission is to reverse the vast degradation of our environment by promoting the use of sustainable energy. Kapag ka sa kalagay ng mundo, kasalanan na ako